perspective. While in this mix of global macro concerns and markets, oil fell to a two-month low earlier. Prices are so low, one Chinese company is spending $1.3 billion to buy giant oil fields in Texas. Craig Smith with me now, CEO of Swiss America Trading. So, Craig, first, before we talk about China's purchase, what do you make of oil's levels? Goldman, one of the most bearish voices on the street, saying oil could go down to $20 rather, dollars a barrel. Yeah, I think Goldman is dreaming, and T. Boom, Boom Pickens would uh, would agree with that. I, I think twenty dollar oil is ridiculous. Although in 1999, Deirdre, we did have ten dollar barrel oil went all the way up to 150 in 2005, 147. Now it's back down in the 45 area. But I think this recent acquisition by China and this uh, investment firm in the Permian Basin in Texas is an indication that the Chinese don't think oil prices are going to stay down for very long. Because it was just a couple of years ago, Sino Chem, uh, another U, uh, U.S. subsidiary out of China, uh, bought a big part of the Klein Shale, which was about 82,800 acres, net acres, of deep wells, eight, nine, 10,000 foot wells. That's going to produce a lot of natural gas and a lot of oil. So I don't think they think these oil prices are going to stay down forever. Well, to I your point, I suspect they'll go back up to 100. The company would not spend more than a billion dollars. Uh, so that your point is well made. But if the U.S. doesn't ship out the oil or use it, will we see, for better or worse, more offers from foreign countries, from foreign companies, to buy up energy assets here? You know, that's a, that, that's a very interesting question. I'm not sure how to answer it because oil is fungible, dear, Deirdre, as you, as you know. So if, if they produce the oil here and they get a good price for it here, they're going to sell it here. If they ship it off and get a better price overseas, they're going to get it overseas. I, I, I'm, I'm very concerned that we're taking our natural resources and not using them to our benefit versus using them to foreign countries. I mean, really, the reason why the deal happened in 2013 is American companies didn't want to spend the extra million dollars a well to go deep enough to get the oil. And I'm really concerned about what happened under Secretary Clinton's watch in 2010 when she allowed a Moscow-based nuclear weapons manufacturer to buy Uranium One, and now they own our uranium mines in Wyoming. So I think we have to be very careful. And by the way, the Clintons got a nice little $3 million donation in 2008 before that deal happened. But nevertheless, I digress. I think that we need to manage our natural resources properly. And if we don't, you're going to see other corporations come in and do so, Deirdre. This yep. is just simple supply and demand and investment and making money. Which uh, we know is important for the energy industry and every other one as well. Craig Smith, thank you so much. CEO of Swiss America Trading joining us there.